Okay guys, next patient. What do you think's going on here? I have no idea. Well, this is a pretty effective treatment for nosebleeds. Why don't I tell you the high yield management options for epistaxis if you tell me in the comments the name of this particular treatment. Epistaxis are nosebleeds and you should divide them into anterior or posterior. 90% of them are anterior. It tends to happen in this area where several arteries join together forming Kesselbach's plexus. Let's quickly go through the five key management options. Number one is direct pressure. That's when you squeeze the fleshy part of your nose and bend forward. They shouldn't lean back because that risks blood going down into the lungs. Number two is cautery. For example, you can use sticks of silver nitrate to directly cauterize visible bleeding points. Number three, failing that, we can consider nasal packing which involves shoving loads of gauze into the nose. And some special devices you can inflate so there's direct pressure on the bleeding points. And the gauze can be soaked in chemicals to help arrest the bleeding. Number four, if all of that doesn't work, then this may be a posterior bleed. Then we could turn to Foley catheters. Yeah, the same ones that go into the bladder. You can literally put a catheter into the back of the nose and inflate it. And if none of that works, step number five is when we arrive at our surgical interventions. In a technique called artery ligation, we can block off parts of the external carotid artery, the internal maxillary artery, or the sphenopalatine artery to arrest bleeding. So before we see our next patient, tell me in the comments which treatment this one is, and I'm gonna drop the answer there real soon.